I remember sitting down and talking with someone one day who says he's a Christian, and I mentioned to him about how, according to Romans 13, the rulers are the very same as the ministers of God. And we talked about corruption. We both agreed that we have seen corruption in the world. And he said something along the lines of, well, sometimes a bad one will slip in here and there. But what he calls government, I call counterfeit government. Because Paul never said anything about voting for the powers that be. He said that the powers that be are ordained of God. And if the rulers, according to that chapter, are the ministers of God, who are these other people? I'm going to go ahead and read the first six verses of Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. This is why other people's separation of church and state concept is total nonsense. What I see and what other people are seeing, some other people, is that there's a false government set up with a false church side or something that the false government shows favor to through the IRS. And some of these places don't, don't even, uh, don't necessarily, some of these Sunday places that collect old covenant ties that they change to money somehow don't necessarily uh, not all of them go through the IRS but this whole thing has to do with a government that was not ordained of God the government rulers Satan's house is divided just the way that we've seen it in the United States and it's not just the United States. I'm talking about these worldly governments where we have these people or we see these people who are exploiting other people. They're killing them, poisoning them, uh, you, you know, using them for tax slaves. These are not legitimate rulers. So it makes sense to me this thing in... Uh, Revelation 18, it talks about the merchants of the earth weeping and mourning for nobody buys their merchandise anymore because when there's not a way to exploit people through a medium of exchange or any other way, they don't have uh, a way to exploit, they won't have a way to exploit people anymore. And I'm hearing more and more people lately, though, it, though it's seems uh, painfully slow to me, but I'm hearing more and more people lately that are considering the poss at least the possibility that their government is a counterfeit and it's not, it's just not a legitimate government. Another thing in the New Testament that backs this thing I'm saying in Romans 13 
is in Hebrews 13. This is verses 7 and 8. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Okay, so uh, how does uh, a fellow like President Obama, this guy that they that some people think is a legitimate ruler, how does he speak the word of God while doing things like this thing that he has done in the past and he seems to justify uh, with his lips this abortion bill that he pushed. According to Romans 13 again, it says, Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So if somebody who thinks that he's a legitimate ruler, per Romans 13 somehow, uh, and they resist some kind of law that, that comes out of his mouth, uh, are they going to be damned? No. He's not, he is not an ordained of God ruler uh, minister. And it just blows my mind somehow how people, you tell them this, just like that fellow that I talked to, uh, and they, maybe it's because of the gen, you know, generations of people that they've seen. They've seen the world be a certain way. You know, they may have seen their parents be one way and then their parents be, before them be the same way and have this divided this divided house thing where they don't think it's divided because they're so used to it. Major brainwash going on, uh, but I'm seeing some people uh, shaken out of it. You know, they're coming out of this. So I know this is very basic, and some of you might be tired of hearing me talk about this, but this really... Uh, I believe this really needs to be uh, understood by people because uh, some people are thinking that if they resist the, these, this government that's obviously to me a counterfeit, that uh, it's going to go, it's going to be a bad thing with them, uh, between them and God. No, this, this whole thing, I, I mean, uh, the kings of the earth coming down, the great men and the rich men hiding in their dens and this whole thing. Oh, yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, I, I can see how as this whole thing uh, keeps going and this and this uh, information is, is understood more and more, which which it is as slow as slowly as it's been. I can see how that whole thing will just happen. And I think, it, I think it has in subtle ways where people just haven't noticed it. They do hide, you know, but I was just led to talk about these things today as, as basic as this is. Uh, if you already understand it, then uh, please, you know, pass this along and uh, feel free to comment.